everybody let's try it again we're gonna do it with the cell phone this time because um well we didn't get no audio on the original it is what it is i tried to fix it but couldn't pull it off eh so here we are um i don't know if you saw the other one i, I put it private but anyways um this one here is from korea it's called uh cass fresh it's a cold brew i believe it's a lager that's what i'm guessing that's what the can looks like. All right, it's from Korea. Comes in at 4.5% alcohol by volume. Okay, I picked this up for six 12 ounce cans for like five or six bucks at the 99 cent store. So um, let's crack it open and see what we got here. Price is right. Got some smoke coming out there. Yeah, I was. I attempted to brew to uh, review this um, before, and um, my audio was completely out. So I got to get into that. So in the meantime, we're going to use the cell phone right now to do this. Bust this puppy out because I got to go back to work at um, eleven thirty today or tomorrow <clears throat> so I, I'm not gonna be able to do a review so we'll handle it right now <clears throat> nice looking beer uh, I've got a lot of bubbles streaming up foamy looking head a little bit frothy a little bit um, looks up uh, let me bump up the light here a little bit here we go now you can see a little better there uh, let's do the back heads holding up Pretty decent there, not too bad. Very clear, light, really light gold color, like straw color. A lot of bubbles streaming up though. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, probably TAC resin in my lungs. Um, anyways, got a nice head. Pretty, pretty. It's sticking around a little bit, but uh, then we get a little more light on it. You can see it. It's a little lighter in person though. It looks more gold on the camera right now. So yeah. It's the best I can do for now. But um yeah, so um let's check out the aroma. Smells like beer. Smells like a lager. It's got a little um kind of graininess, kind of maybe corn or barley, I'm not sure. Smells like a typical lager though, but um, let's check out the taste. Cheers. Tastes awesome. That's a good beer. That is a good beer. It's a uh, light to medium mouthfeel. The water's exceptionally clean. No foulness whatsoever. Uh, really nice mouthfeel. Leaving some lacing on the glass there. It's good. It's clean. Little, maybe a little yeasty or earthy kind of grassy hop note coming through, but not much. Real light on the hops. More of a grainy kind of malt kind of beer. Totally crushable. Um, not bad at all, considering I bought it at the 99 cent store. River. This will give um, any Bud Miller Coors a good run for its money. I am going to pit this against the Champ Miller High Life. We'll see how it do in a blind taste test. Might pit this one against a few others, too. Import versus America. We'll see how it holds up. Maybe I'll put it up against the big three Bud Miller Coors. See which one fares the best. This is pretty hitting pretty good actually. Really good balance, man. Uh, you know, the little hops and the malts. Just a real drinker. You could just drink this stuff pretty much all day. 
that's if beer's your thing okay nice malt on the glass there um let's give it a score i'm gonna score it just like i would any other beer um sometimes these lagers can taste just as good as any ipa really sometimes even better so with that said um i'm gonna give it four stars out of five i think it's a really enjoyable beer it's up there with miller high life man and i love miller high life People that know me know I love my Miller High Life. So uh, four stars it is. That's my story. I'll stick with that. Hit the like, subscribe, hit the little bell. That'd be much appreciated. Y'all have a great day. And uh, cheers. We'll catch you later. See ya.